Auburn has made the three hour trip across state lines to renew its ancient rivalry with the fifth ranked Georgia Bulldogs. Center left very early in that game. On target from and into Auburn territory goes Terry Godwin. A first down to the 42 of the Tigers. Nice job by DeAndre Swift picking up the blitzing linebacker. That allows Fromm to stay in the pocket and find Godwin crossing the field. On offense this year, Whitlow lines up as a Wildcat. He throws to the back of the end zone for an Auburn touchdown. John Samuel Shaker, redshirt freshman tight end. They don't throw to the tight ends very often. Five yard line, their first possession. Georgia now needs to convert on third and eight. Short throw to Swift and lots of running room. High stepping across the 50. You, you can't forget about this guy. He's too good a receiver. That's his 18th reception of the year. I mean, he is a very gifted receiver. Third down and four. Just a four-man rush from to the end zone, a touchdown. Tyler Simmons puts the Bulldogs back on top. Go to the playoffs. Why not? We can do it. DeAndre Swift into the secondary. And they were running out of white jerseys to get him down. They got him on the grass at the 45. Watch the center, Lamont Gilliard, go to the second level. Five-man rush, Fromm has time, and a wide-open receiver. Terry Godwin, touchdown, Georgia! If you take a look at this play, he's going spread out. He's going to find the matchup. This is Jordan Peters and Nickelback on Godwin. Spread them out. You got five receivers. Find your best matchup and exploit it. Jake Fromm sees it. Godwin gets separation away from the nickelback. And not only do they get a first down on fourth down, they get a touchdown. The crowd aligned, but then retreat, rushing four. Fromm has a man open. First down and much more. They call Hardman across midfield to the Auburn 48. This bunch formation, really effective. Godwin the motion man from the pump fig in his direction throws an interception into traffic and picked off by Jamel Dean intended for Jason Stanley. He just waited too long on this one. There's the route. He waited, he waited, he waited, and that enabled Dean to step in front of that throw. We've been saying Jake Fromm's been doing a great job of dumping it off that time. Instead of dumping it off to Harry and out of the backfield, he waited and forced the throw to his wide receiver. Ruled the fumble, so a loss of three, not an incomplete pass. Here's Shivers with blazing speed across the 40. And a touchdown saving shove out of bounds by the safety, Richard LeCount. When Auburn does run the football, follow number 27. Where he goes is where the football is going to go. Eight of them now for 60 yards. Swift breaks tackles. And runs over the safety, Jamie and Sherwood, the freshman who stood his ground and managed to take Swift down after a 17-yard run. Watch the backside guard pull, get it's a little trap play. After the career high 156 of Kentucky, he has lots of running room. There's that move. His high school coach called it his dead leg move. Played at St. Joseph's Prep in Philadelphia, and he does drop that on the defense from time to time. And, and he does it on safeties. This is Jamie and Sherwood. Boom. Plant that right foot. Don't lose speed. Change directions. Has the ability to make secondary people look silly. They stick with him. He bursts through the hole. Breaks a tackle across midfield. Gets a nice block down the field and scores a touchdown. Whenever you have a running back makes a big play down the field, there's receivers blocking downfield. Isaac Nada, the tight end, 18. And then the wide receiver, Holloman, number nine, with a key block. And DeAndre Swift does the rest. He had an 83-yard touchdown run last week against Kentucky, and another big one here. They go to nine and one. They have UMass coming here, and then they finish with another home game, three in a row to close out the year with Georgia Tech, that traditional rivalry game before they head to Atlanta for the SEC championship game against Alabama.